Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Hey, just chill out. People are missing you. Hey everybody, guess what? It's Tom with Canopy Cat Rescue and I'm on another rescue. Today uh, I'm in Lacey and uh, trying to rescue a cat named Milo who's stuck in a street tree uh, right next to a road. The tree looks really easy to climb, but Milo's owner said that Milo hisses at people and uh, isn't friendly. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, he doesn't jump uh, and then run out into the road. It's not super busy, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk over there with my gear and see what I can do. Milo! Milo! I'm gonna try to just put my line up above him. See what he does. I'm also gonna, if I climb up there, I'm gonna try to stay on the street side of the tree so that he, uh, if he jumps, he jumps toward the house. Oh, he's moving. Come on down then. Oh, are you complaining about it? So he is not happy about the throw weight going up there. Oh, oh, he's going up to the top. Okay, he's at the top now. I put my throw line up there and he was like, not having it. So, Well, this is Milo, and he's really mad. He went to the top of the tree, and and I got him in the net, but he was not having it. So we're gonna try to safely go down, try to keep him away from me. Hey, dude, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! Hey, just chill out! Why are you so angry? Hey, hey! Don't be such a brat. You're welcome. He's super mad. He, he wants gave you he, so much he trouble. wants to he wants to eat me. Well, that rescue kind of sucked. I mean, I got him down and all, but he was super pissed off. He wanted to get me, and um, it's hard to hard to know what to do in these situations. Sometimes cats like Milo, you can get up there and get a little bit closer to them and pet them, and they chill out. And sometimes they don't; they freak out like Milo. I was able to get him in the net, and uh, you know, get him down. But the whole way down, man, that guy wanted to kill me. So, um, anyway, I guess it's all good. He's down and uh, didn't jump or fall and I didn't get attacked. Um, 
Well, I just got finished with my Lacey rescue and then I got a call for a cat stuck in Tacoma. So I just arrived at the apartment complex here in Tacoma and um, the uh, people that called aren't responding. So I'm gonna go out and see if I can just find the tree with the cat in it and keep trying them. So don't know much about this cat. Um, other than it's been missing for two days and uh, and it's kind of sweet, she said. So, Well, based on the photo she sent, it's definitely in one of these big dug furs. Um, there are a whole bunch around the complex here. So I'm going to start walking around and seeing if I can hear it crying. Kitty, 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 kitty. Hi, so I'm here. Yeah. Okay, I, I see you. She answered and I uh, have an idea where I'm going now. Here. Oh, this one right here? Okay. And what's her name again? Sassy Blue. Sassy Blue. Yeah. So she's like right up there. Here. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty easy. I'm gonna try to get a line set above her. She's not making any noise. That's not always a great sign, but uh, hopefully she's sweet, like they said. Oh, there's a big, two big raccoons over there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my Okay, Sassy, I'm gonna come up. Kitty, Sassy Blue, S Sassy, <coughs> Sassy. Say hi now. Come here. Oh, Sassy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shoved you in the net like that. You're okay, sweetie. You're welcome. Don't thank me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, Sassy Blue was really good. Rescue was really easy. Shot a line up there, got it on my second try or third try. Uh, there were two big old fat raccoons though sitting in the tree next to us, just looking over the whole time. Wondering what was going on with the, with me and the cat. Um, so, uh, yeah, they just didn't actually care that we were there. So, anyway, uh, headed home now, and hopefully uh, that'll be it for today. Well, just when I thought I was done for the day, I got another call. So now I'm headed to Rainier, um, and uh, just gonna try to rescue a cat named Mr. Riggles, who's been stuck since last night, or maybe it was a little bit longer. Um, well, I'm about uh, halfway out to my rescue, and I just have to share that um, I'm cooking down the road here, and I just came within inches from driving over a cat, killing it. And, ugh. Man, that was scary. I had to slam on my brakes. Everything from the front seat slid to the front of the dash. And uh, yeah, I, uh, the irony is not lost on me. I'm out trying to save a cat and I almost kill one in the process. 
So, uh, boy, keep your cats in, people. It's not safe. They could get hit by Tom. Mr. Wiggles! Kitty, kitty, kitty! Well, he's up at the tippy top, but it doesn't look that hard. Wiggles! Kitty, kitty, kitty! What a good boy. Hi, sweetest. Ready to go in the net? Such a good boy. Let's go over this way. I know, sweetie. You're a good boy. Sorry. Sorry, that was awful rude of me, wasn't it? Oh, thank you, thank you. And then also... Oh, that's not our cat. Oh, then I'm keeping him. He's that sweet. When you go Anyway, thanks for watching, and thank you to all the awesome people who support us and follow us, and uh, if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. It's just a really great way, it's a free way to support us. Maybe someday we'll get enough likes to be able to monetize our channel enough people following or whatever we got to do um, we just started to put some more emphasis in, in trying to make our YouTube channel a little bit better because hey these are interesting fun sometimes not so fun rescues and uh, if you're a cat person or even if you're a dog person or just a person you might like uh, watching them so uh, yeah like and subscribe thank you so much